Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm starting my morning off with some coffee and today it is an Americano with some espresso, hot water, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and some liquid sucralose. I'm also cooking up some bacon, so I took a one pound package of bacon, cut it up into four pieces, and I'm cooking it in my cast iron skillet on medium low heat and just letting it render down nice and slow. It gets nice and crispy that way and I just drained it off on some paper towels on a plate. I'm saving this grease in the pan today so I'm just gonna collect those bits off to the side and scoop them out so my oil is left nice and clear with just a little bit of bits on the bottom. I'm gonna cover it up with any sort of pot lid that'll fit and save it for later. I also save it in the refrigerator for deep fat frying if I use bacon grease. How I track my bacon by weight is all I do is I get my scale, I put whatever container or bag or whatever I'm going to weigh it out on and then I zero it out and I like to put it on grams just because it's more accurate that way and then I add the bacon or whatever it is I'm weighing up, in this case bacon, and I'm just seeing the total number of grams for that entire package minus what this little girl is eating. <laughs> She's so cute. She loves bacon so much. So I'm taking the 119 grams and then I'm dividing that by nine, which was the serving, which was the total servings for that package. And so that comes out to 13.22222 grams for a serving. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself up a serving and show you guys what that looks like. And that's one serving, roughly two slices of bacon. And that's just what the package said, two slices of bacon for one serving. And my coffee was nasty, and I say, if it's gross, just get rid of it. Just dump it down the drain. So I saved myself one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, because I did put three, and I assumed that was about a third of my coffee. So I'm just going to calculate two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in my fitness pal, and that one serving of bacon. So there you have it. There's my cream and my bacon, and so far for the day... Not much going on. I do want to save myself some of this bacon, so I'm going to package it up into just a little sandwich bag right here because Miss Aurora will go through this bacon. She'll snack on the bacon all day long until it's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and put myself 52 grams, and she's not very happy about that. So 52 grams in the bag for myself. So that's about four servings right there. I'm gonna save that and give my boo-boo a bite because she's such a good dog, but Maddie, Aurora didn't like that very much. All right, so for my teas, I like black tea and passion tezo tea. It's delicious. You can also get this at Starbucks. So for the large container, I'm doing three tea bags of the passion tea, and for each of these smaller containers, I'm doing two bags of the black tea. And these lids, they're amazing. I got them at Target. Came in a package with two lids, two straws. So with super, super hot water, this water is about 190 degrees. I know that because I have an app on my phone for my water kettle. So I fill this about halfway up, let them steep for a while until they cool off a little bit and move on to something else. So I feel a little bit headachy today. So I'm going to make myself an electrolyte cup. And I love this tub work container. I've had it for decades, so I'm gonna put it in that. And I'm doing five grams of pink Himalayan sea salt. And I'm also going to be putting in some new salt AKA potassium chloride and potassium is good if you have cramps and such. It is one of the electrolytes that we need. So I put that in there and I'm just gonna mix it up and add it to my food, dip my finger in it, get it in somehow. There you, there you go. Okay, so one of my obsessions is this lint chocolate, 90% dark. It is amazing. So amazing that I need to figure out the macros per square and put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer to keep it kind of put away and so I can't just eat the whole bar in one sitting because that is way too many carbs. So I'm going to put it away like a good girl and note on there all the macros and it's 1.75 net carbs per square. To drain the tea, I just take the tea bags out and put the lids on loosely until they're done dripping. And I'm just gonna fill them the rest of the way up with room temperature water and call it a day. These are good to go for the next couple of days. Hey guys, this is the first time that you have actually seen me today. I'm trying a different style of filming just because I want to actually get through it. And as you can see, I got like a bunch of trash ready to go out. I've been like so super busy today just trying to not think about food so much, trying to keep my carbs low, trying to stay busy and active. And when I'm constantly thinking about like, um, you know, being camera ready or 
or anything it just it always throws me off i just really want to be able to get more videos up for you guys and i feel that my anxiety and like sometimes gets the best of me and i end up trashing the video or i just don't follow through the rest of the day there's lots of excuses and like so i'm trying to make things um better for myself so i can actually get these videos up and so i can function throughout my day and i hope you guys um, don't mind this style of video this is the first time i've actually done like more of a vo voiceover type video and not like so much in front of the camera so I so far I'm liking it I'm able to not be as stressed out and I'm still able to share with you guys and that's really what I want to do I did eat the rest of that bacon that I prepped plus one more serving so I had six servings of bacon so that's a lot of bacon today but I've, it's like all I've had today plus the cream all right so it is tea time now and I'm just adding my apple cider vinegar and my squirt of liquid sucralose to my mason jar full of ice and I'm topping it off with my passion tea that I just made and this stuff is super super good and there's so many amazing benefits to apple cider vinegar I use it as a toner on my face and I use it as a rinse in my hair and I drink it every single day so I highly recommend it and I highly recommend this chocolate and I'm getting a piece and I got a big one so it'll all even out in the end but I was really happy about that All right, I'm super excited to be sharing this recipe. This is from wholesisters.com. I'll link it down below. It is called Dump Ranch. It's amazing. All you need is an immersion blender and a few very typical keto ingredients. And all you do is dump everything in your jar. Just go ahead and screenshot the screen right now and these are all the ingredients you need. You just dump them all in the jar and put the immersion blender over the yolk, over the egg, and blend it up and that's all you have to do. I put mine in a kind of a small jar to begin with. Normally I put this in a five cup um, measuring cup and make it but since there wasn't any room I just added the coconut cream at the end and just whisked it in but you would just add everything in there and then blend it up and so how I calculate the serving size for this is I just put a matching jar on there just to save myself the dish and zero it out and then I put my jar back on there so I have 300 and about 60 grams of this dump ranch your typical dressing is about 30 grams for a serving, so I went ahead and divided 360 by 30 and got 12 servings for my dump ranch. So that's how you do it. I love burgers, and this time I'm weighing it up differently. I'm weighing it up raw. Normally when I track, I weigh it up after I cook it, and then I track it cooked. So this is a little different, but I did add some of my electrolyte cocktail on there and grilled it up and I'm weighing out a lettuce leaf and putting my grilled burger on there. I went ahead and I put my dump ranch on the scale and I'm just subtracting basically and as I pour it onto my burger uh, and then I'm also doing the same thing with jalapeno, putting the jalapeno on the scale and the onion, putting on the scale, taking what I want and then it just gives me a negative number and that's nine grams of onion right there. And that was delicious. Okay, this coconut mocha blended espresso is on another level. It is so good. That Lavasa espresso is pretty good, by the way. But I take two cups of this almond breeze and put it in an ice cube tray and put it in the freezer, as well as a coconut cream. And one can fits perfectly into an ice cube tray, and I freeze that as well. Eight cubes of the chocolate almond milk, four cubes of the coconut cream, and that's all you need for your base. I like to add some vanilla extract. Feel free to add whatever kind of extracts you want. Go nuts. This is such a good one. And then I also add some liquid sucralose for sweetness. You can add whatever you want. I'm putting a pinch of salt to bring out all the flavors and because more electrolytes. Topping it off with an entire little pot of espresso. This is a little under four ounces. Um, I try to get four ounces out of it. Sometimes it's like 3.85, but yeah, you just want about four ounces. You can also add collagen, gelatin, whatever you feel like you want to add as like, you know, a supplement. I also have this perfect keto that I like as well. It's like an all-in-one, so it has your collagen, your MCTs, your cocoa powder, stevia, all-in-one, so it's a great supplement. And that's it, and I totally love the way this turned out. I'm just in the kids room right now because it's like the only semi quiet room in the house right now That's gonna do for my full day of eating today. I have my drink right here I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my fitness pal and I'm going to put that at the end of the screen with the macros and everything for you guys So you can check that out if you did notice my carbs are really low today I'm trying something new I'm trying to switch it up and I'm trying to get my cravings under control So what I'm trying to do is reduce my dairy as you could probably tell from what I ate today and reduce 
uh, my carbs, like even lower. So I've been trying to like have my carbs just really, really low, try to keep it as clean as possible, and I am hoping to see some sort of difference because I did do that challenge with my sister and my family, like I told you guys in previous video, but um, yeah, I didn't win. I gained three pounds, but I weighed in light, so I pretty much was at maintenance the whole time. I wasn't really tracking seriously, but I did get back on track, and I did like kind of assess my situation and I'm trying something new so and I am continuing with my workouts so um, on my workout days I do plan to eat a little bit more and kind of think about how my body feels and if I'm hungry I'm going to eat because I don't want to deprive my body to the point to where I'm going to like totally fall off the wagon but um, yeah so that's my plan for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll probably have some passion tea or water to round up my night and some magnesium and that's going to do it I probably am not going to get around to finishing all of my salt but I'm going to make sure that, um, you know, if I start to get any sort of headache or any sort of muscle cramps, then I will just kind of dip in with my finger and get my sodium up that way. So I'm just going to keep an eye on my electrolytes and um, while I'm switching up my diet and, you know, lowering my carbs even less and then also tracking my macros because I really got to get my together, you guys. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.